what we're getting is more so of we're going to wait because interest is going up and, you know, we think the market's going to crash. I mean, I'm getting that too, right? Mm -hmm. So I think at that point, understanding something like that, there's a few ways to dissect it. Number one, you need to know like, okay, where are they in life? Are they a first time buyer? Because if they're a first time buyer, like they need to buy still, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, number two is if they're a seller and they need to buy, and if they're a seller that doesn't have motivation to move, meaning like they don't have a real reason, like it's not work, it's not lifestyle, it's just because I want to have bigger space. I find that the bigger spaces, this point, there's no reason to do that. Like not saying no reason, but it's a little bit uphill battle, I find, mm -hmm. um, because they're going to just tell you they're going to sit and wait for the right property, right? Yeah. So yep. generally, this is what I'd be saying. Okay, so, you know, hey, Crystal, I, I totally understand that with interest rates rising, you may feel that prices are going to keep going down and we're going to go back to $1 houses. Like that's not mm -hmm. happening, <laughs> you know? Um, just to give you a little bit more stats, and this is where you need to know your stats. In Durham region, January, the average price in Durham region was 1.2. Now it's um, about just about low 900s. This is a great time. This price point is this time last year, April. So mm -hmm. you just basically went back in time to get really great prices. Yes, you're paying a little bit more to interest, but remember interest is just a short-term pain for a long-term gain, right? Mm -hmm. And a long-term gain is that we understand that when interest goes back low, prices will come back high, right? Mm -hmm. um, and also I remind them like, hey, Crystal, let me ask you a question. Did you feel more comfortable purchasing in a market where you only had two options and you had to go 300K over asking and being scared to even be qualified for that? Or are you, would you be more comfortable purchasing in something? Yes, you pay a little bit more monthly, but now you have the option to shop around. You have mm -hmm. the option to negotiate in price. You have the option to put in conditions, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Like yep. huge, huge, right? And yep. as a first time buyer, as you were telling me, let's say, right? This is the perfect market for you to get into and be comfortable in, right? Yeah. So let me ask you a question. What is most important to you? You know, kind of getting a house when you need it, rushing and maybe not making the best decisions or taking your time, making sure your building blocks are set up so you can have a successful purchase. Which one would you like to do? You know what I mean? Like that's mm -hmm. the difference already of how I'm dissecting it and making it like dissecting the bomb and kind of going the other way. Or let's do it this yeah. way. Hey, hey, Crystal, I understand that you have mm -hmm. a house to sell. You know, um, I understand that you're just kind of looking uh, for the right opportunity for you. You're worried about the interest rates. But for you, just keep in mind, it sounds like you have a great product. You have a detached house, let's say, you know, you have a detached house. Remember, those are the high stocks and they're going down. Right. So, yes, you don't have a timeline, but the market is kind of pressuring you for a timeline. So in the meantime, you know, I'll keep you up to date by, you know, I'll send you the link. I'll the link which is basically attached to my website so anytime that you have a sold listing or listings in the area you want to see you just open up the app you're right there that's a great yeah. great script to get into the app which is great if they yeah. if you're not comfortable with that this is a great opportunity to put you on a tool that i that we have called the nosy neighbor let's be real we're all mm -hmm. nosy neighbors and i started mm -hmm. laughing right yeah. um at the end of the day i'm a real estate agent and even if i wasn't a real estate agent if i saw a sign across the lawn guess what i'm googling right yeah. So this yeah. is a great way of doing this. So all I yeah. just need is your address. Put them on. Mm -hmm. Do you want a daily, weekly, or monthly? Because you want to respect them. Weekly, no problem. Now, okay, mm -hmm. guys, guess what? You have a seller lead. You know? So it's yeah. just like the way of like objection scripting and how to make them confident. Depends. Well, and it really at the end of the day, especially when it comes to uh, mortgages and what have you, the bottom line is the monthly payment. Yeah. Right. It's what the monthly payment is. It's it's we all get focused on what the interest rate is, which, you know, it's almost like it's it's just pushed into our faces. Um, but really, at the end of the day, what's the most important fact of it, factor is the monthly rate. Um, so there is I'm going to post in here. I do have a document um, which is specifically around this. Um, okay, and it was perfect. in one of the, the mortgage, actually uh, was in one of the real estate groups on, on Facebook. And this guy is how he handled it. Um, so if the rates are going up, great lock in now, you got to bet a lower rate, right? If the rates go down, you have the option of refinancing, right? Unless you plan on flipping your home, if the values of the homes are going down, 
that's not of any concern because the average person is going to live in their house for three, five, 10 years anyway. So it's not, it's, it's not even going to impact them at that point. Right. So there's, there's a lot of different, and, and this is a great, you know, I just kind of took it all and what he would say to people. Um, so it's a great kind of little tool for you guys to kind of refer to when you do have questions, because again, um, that is a concern right now for a lot of individuals with respect to, to mortgage rates and what have you. Um, but as Nick says, it's a teeter totter, right? So it's either one or the other, one's always going to be higher than the other. And it's just a matter of purchase price or interest rate. Exactly. Um, and also like, this is a great time to like get buyers or even sellers to hopefully get them to build that relationship on that call, maybe in the next call, invite them for coffee and maybe explain, you know, or maybe even bring one of your mortgage advisors that you're we're closely with. Be like, hey, you know mm -hmm. what, Crystal? Um, I know we had such a great conversation last time. I know you have so many questions. Would you be open to just having coffee with me so I can just go through it? I know we could do this over the phone, but at least now you can put the face to the name and, and really get a sense of like who I am as a person. And mm -hmm. on top of that, I'll also have my mortgage advisor because I'm coming with them from another appointment. He'll also be there just to kind of give you some info. Remember, this is just in that you're in just in the information stage. I understand I'm not giving you pressure. However, if I was in your scenario, I would want information and I would mm -hmm. want the right information. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, and that's more powerful, right? Like the way that I'm saying these scripts and the confidence that I'm saying it, I'm saying it because I want to take care of you and I don't want another like, you know, bad agent to like, ruin that experience for you and put you in a bad scenario because right now if you're not purchasing correctly and you don't and you skip step step sorry it, things will happen like things mm -hmm. will happen especially in this market everyone loves it when it's riding up but when it's coming down or like kind of going like this right now this is a very important time to do your diligent work and make sure everything lines up as much as possible for your client. Because remember, a lot of people are on fixed incomes. If it's a little bit more money, everything else is going up from with, with, you know, spending. But if it costs them a little bit of money, they might not be able to afford it. They might not be able to close. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, you don't want that problem. No, no, it's, it's you, you're very hands-on when the interest rates are, especially if they're expected to go up, right? So every right. time it goes up, they've got to reevaluate again to see what they're now qualified for. Right. Um, at the time of, yeah, so it can be definitely tricky. Mm -hmm.